Stronger pressure and sanctions are how the leaders of South Korea, the United States and Japan plan to deal with North Korea. Meeting in New York on Thursday, Presidents Moon Jae-in and Donald Trump agreed in their one-on-one -on -one talks to maintain an overwhelming deterrence posture against North Korea. Welcoming Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe into the fold later, the three leaders made it clear that the strongest response measures are needed to bring Pyongyang back to talks. Connie Kim has more. The second meeting between the leaders of South Korea and the United States in New York focused on ways to pressure North Korea for its nuclear weapons program. Such measures included expanding the rotational deployment of U.S. strategic assets around the Korean Peninsula and neighboring countries. Our real focus will be on the military and our relationship with South Korea, which is excellent, which is really excellent. Uh, so we're going to start that process right now. Following the summit, the presidential office highlighted details of the closed-door talks on maintaining overwhelming deterrence against North Korea. The two leaders agreed to strengthen their country's joint defense capabilities through Seoul's acquisition and development of the most advanced military assets. They also agreed to expand the rotational deployment of U.S. military assets around Korea and neighboring countries. Exerting the strongest pressure and sanctions was the name of the game when Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe joined Presidents Moon and Trump for an hour-long meeting. Noting that the recently adopted U.N. Security Council resolution was a strong move from the international community, Abe emphasized the need for even stronger measures while supporting Trump's executive order expanding U.S. sanctions on North Korea. We are going into a new stage of pressure, exercising stronger pressures. New pressures and I welcome the new sanctions measures by the United States. And to further corner the North, the three leaders have also agreed to cooperate with China and Russia, the two key nations that are reluctant in choking North Korea's lifeline. As North Korea hints said it has no intention of putting a stop to its nuclear ambition, Seoul, Washington and Tokyo are continuing to call for stronger pressure on the regime. The key now is whether diplomacy will work as concerns are mounting that time is running out to reach a peaceful solution with the reclusive regime. Connie Kim, Arirang News.